Hey guys, the video Vince with Camera Exchange, and today I wanted to talk about tripods. Now, you might think it's okay to get a cheap plastic $50 tripod, but I wanted to tell you the difference between one of those and investing a little bit more money in one of these. So, let's get started. So as many of us know, tripods come in many different sizes ranging anywhere from tabletop tripods all the way up to super tall tripods. But the ones that I have here today are made by a brand named Sure. They are a fantastic and reputable tripod maker that's been in the game for quite some time. So you're probably asking yourself, why spend more than $50 on a tripod? And that's a fantastic question. And the reason why is because you already spent so much money on a expensive camera. Why put that investment on something so cheap? Yes, it is cheaper up front, but if you think about it in the long run, you're going to be spending a lot more money replacing a cheap tripod. So why not go with something like this? So the ones I'm going to be talking about today is a fluid head tripod, which is special for video. And I am also going to be talking about a ball head tripod, which is more specific for photography. All right guys, so let's get started. The first one that I really wanted to talk about is actually going to be the ball head tripod. So again, this is the uh, Sue Ray tripod and the model number exactly is the ET2004. So I also wanted to clear up, of course you can put a camera on here to record video. You're not going to get the full features of the fluid head that we're going to talk about a little bit later on down the road. Um, so let's talk about what makes a ball head tripod so much better for photography. Starting out with the ball head itself. So you got this little lever that's right here that all you got to do is just twist down you can maneuver the head wherever you want it to go and it's just fantastic easy and if you tighten it up pretty well you have a nice secure fit and you know that it is stable and not going to go anywhere you also do got a nice little bubble level head up top too so you know that your camera is always level so let's move into some scenarios so one scenario with the ball head let's say that you're in a studio and you have a model all lined up and you are shooting horizontal. She has her arms spread out and now that she wants to move her hands up just a little bit more towards her head or however she really wants to and you want to switch it to a vertical position. All you got to do is just release the ball head. That way it gets a little loose, put it into the groove that it's in and now you switched it into a portrait mode and a more vertical orientation it makes it a lot easier if you want negative space up top and it's just a fantastic option for that as well so another thing with this particular tripod is that it also does have a arca swiss or a dovetail type plate so these plates right here are pretty universal now uh, you are going to start finding these arca swiss type plates on pretty much any manufacturer now or any uh, higher end tripods that you'll come across, which makes finding a plate a lot easier. Um, so that is a fantastic thing to have, especially with a tripod like this. So lastly, I wanted to just talk briefly on the legs as well. So you have these nice little legs that kind of stretch out that give you a lower angle to the ground. So by clicking just this little button here, you're able to spread the legs out quite wide. And what that gives you is it gives you the ability to get a more lower shot. So most of the manufacturers also have an extra accessory that gives you the ability to have a shorter stem. So you replace this stem with the other shorter center column. That way you can just get a lower style shot. Let's say if you're trying to take photos of flowers or a waterfall that is pretty low to the ground you're able to do that with this tripod so 
that's going to wrap up what I have to say about this ball head tripod. Let's talk about the fluid head tripods and the video tripod legs just a little bit more and why you would use those for video instead of this. So this one I have here is the Suray SH-15. So let's start off going from top to bottom, starting off with the plate. So if you look here, the plate is a little bit longer and a little bit wider than the one that you'll find on the ball head style uh, tripods. And that is because these are made for video cameras, pretty similar to the C100s or the FS5s, uh, cameras along that style. That way you can have just a little bit longer base and a little bit more stability, especially while moving the camera with this tripod. So if we throw that right back on, you also have these nice little indicators on here too. That way if you're moving the camera a little bit forward or back and you want to get that same shot again, you could always go back to those markings if that's what you need. So every time you see a fluid head tripod, you'll see one of these little levers here that just give you the ability to have a little bit more of a steady style video. That way you don't really have to touch the camera uh, when doing any types of movements like going up and down or side to side. This handle alone takes a lot of work off of the camera itself. That way it just gives you a little bit more control and it just makes motion a lot easier. So while talking about motion, uh, when you pan the camera up and down, you're going to be met with some resistance and that's just the fluid that's inside this head. It just gives you the ability to make that panning up and down just really, really nice and basically the same when you are moving it from left to right. So you also got a bowl style level on the bottom of this. So what that means is if you unscrew the bottom, it just gives you the ability to just kind of move the head in a bowl style. All you got to do is make sure that the air bubble is in the center of the level and just basically takes out any guesswork uh, knowing that your camera is nice and centered. So moving down to the legs. So you don't get a center column with video style tripods like this but you are able to get a little bit more length out of the legs themselves. So if you extend these all the way out, the height just goes up a lot more higher than what you can do with the center column on a uh, tripod. And of course with the plate as well, it also has some locking mechanisms in there so you are safe whenever you are tilting the camera up and down. If it's not completely screwed tight or locked in, those little locks will definitely help out the camera uh, not hitting that ground. So there are many different video tripods out there. Uh, this is just one of the ones that I use. Uh, you're going to be able to find pretty much the same exact features on a lot of those video style tripods. Again, I like using these whenever I want to take some product shots or some smooth cinematic pans. This is the one that you kind of want to go with. So what I would highly recommend is finding yourself a nice good pair of legs with the 3 8 uh, screw. That way you can just buy both of the ball head style and a fluid head for video. That way you just have best of both worlds and if any job comes up for photography or video you can just interchange those heads with ease. So that wraps it up. I'll go ahead and leave a link to both of these products in the description down below. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We'll check you guys out next time.